Good morning to all. My name is Chandan Kumar Roy. Today we can discuss about flip flops. What is flip flop? So in the last class already discussed about the latch. So you know that latch means in that we are taking in the latch either we are using the SR latch in that nor based and non based latch. So in the latch we observe that it will store the one bit of information. So that information we are storing and here then if latch is there then why flip flop is required? Because when we can additional control input circuit we are taking. Additional control input circuit means either we can use as a clock signal or we can use as a sequential for the making the sequential circuits, synchronous sequential circuit we are using as a clock signals or enable inputs. So there are two things we are using. Additional control inputs means either we can use as a clock input or we can use as a enable inputs. So to make the sequential circuit. So that's why we can say that as a simple definition the latch with the latch with control input is called as flip flop. So as you know that in the flip flop consists of as you know that in the previous sections we observe that this is the latch. Suppose we are here we are taking latch. So in the diagrams we observe that suppose we are observing here nor based latch. So in the SR flip flop this is the nor. So this is the nor gate. So in that we take as a S, this is S input and this is R input. So as you know that this will connect to here and this will connect to here. In the previous this is called as Q and Q bar. So this is nothing but we can say that this is the latch section. Now this latch section add width here 2 and A. We can add 2 and A. This is 1 and A. This is 2 and A. This and A. And here the output of and A. Now here input we are applying as a S and as a R. So any input you can take. Suppose we are not considered now SR latch or anything. Any input you can take or if you can suppose consider as a S then we can say that SR and here the control this is the clock input is correct. So what we are saying this is the latch this is the control input then it becomes as a flip clock. It becomes as a flip clock. So we can say that there are four types of flip flops, SR flip flop, JK flip flop, first one SR flip flop, second one JK flip flop, third one D flip flop and fourth one T flip flop. So there are four types of flip flops, SR flip flop, JK flip flop, D flip flop and T flip flop. First of all we can go to SR flip flop. So in the SR flip flop we can talk about SR flip flop. So in the SR flip flop as per the our basic definition what I told you we can take one SR latch and additional before additional we are here taking as a control input is nothing but in place we are taking as a 2 and gate and the input of 1 and gate 
is clock and one input is connected to s or oh, so this is the this is you can say that sr latch directly or oh, if suppose we are going to graphical way then you can say that this is this is graphical representation graphical representation you can say that so here in that what we are this is the sr latch so here sr latch will connect with here our sr latch is connect with and gate so now this is the arm and now here it is a pro so either you can represent as a graphical or you can represent as a logical way so as the logical way we can represent this way and this is the graphical now working condition operation of the sr flip flop we can say that here here first of all we can keep clock as a zero so or we can say that we can uh, keep clock as a low so when we can keep a uh, clock as a low in that case what we are observing the out the output of the output of this two and gate and gate one and and gate two we get the low value so if the output uh, gate one here and gate one and and gate two both are zero then there is no any effect occurs on the changes of the input s and r so output what we can get output as previous we had in the data q and had same value we can take it but now we can keep as a clock as a high state high state means logic one so if we can keep clock as a high state then if you can transfer the data then here the value if you if you change if you change the s and r value or state changes the output will also changes the state will be also changes now you can observe that what will change you can see we have clock we have clock because clock means this is the sequence circuits so synchronous sequential circuits we can say that flip flop is a synchronous sequential circuits because clock is there so here clock then we can take input so input we have s and r two input and then we have a output and that you can say that q n plus 1 that is our output now you can observe that or we can see the state also what state will occur what i told you when the clock is low state when the clock is low state in that case either input is 0 0 if you can input is 0 0 the result will be 0 state is no change state is no change no changes will occur now here clock will in keep as a high state so when the clock is high then input value changes according to output will be change in that case you can say that if here clock is high but input we are keeping as and r both are keeping as a zero so if s and r both are zero then qn plus 1 is nothing but we can get qn value what we can get qn value and this state is called as we can say that 
this state is called as no change state this is also called as no change state next one if suppose you can here clock is one keep it suppose here input is keeping as s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 if s equal to 0 r equal to 1 then q n plus 1 equal to 0 and then we can say that this state is called as reset state reset state now you can go to if s equal to keep as a 1 and r equal to 0 if s equal to 1 r equal to 0 then q n plus 1 equal to 1 and in that state is called as set state and the last here clock is high input we are keeping both input as a 1 1 in that case the both our gates are both gates are active high that's why at the same time both way active is not possibility so that's why we can keep as a don't care or cross marks that means it is called as forbidden state or we can say that in valid state so this is the concept of SR flip flops now you can the second one we talk about JK flip flop so what is JK flip flop when you can keep as a here as a graphical way if you are keeping then in the JK flip flops we have two input this is J and this is K and the two output Q and Q bar so this is called JK flip flop so as a graphical directly if you are representing so this is called JK graphical JK flip flop the symbol of JK flip flop so we can say that in the JK flip flop we have two input J and K and we have two output Q and Q bar but JK flip flop can be obtained from SR flip flop so if we can use the SR flip flop then what we will get JK flip flop we can observe here so if we can take JK flip flop we require but we are using the SR flip flop so in the SR flip flop what we are observing we have first SR latch tape SR latch means we can take as a NOR gate so if we can take NOR based SR latch this is NOR based SR latch so this is Q, Q bar as you know that this is our so just you know that we can connect it so output of Q bar sorry so here one important point is you can connect it then this is the SR latch so 1 and 2 then you saw that we have a AND gate so we can use the SR flip flop using the here we have one and not AND gate so you can take AND gate here we are taking as a 1 AND gate so this AND gate you are keeping now you can see here what we are observing in AND gate this is one clock is there this is clock 
now the output the input of first and gate is taken from the output of q bar you can remember here and this is called j and this is called k because of we are using the and this is called s and this is called r so s r match so s and r now you can say that here input is j and input is k so the input of first and gate is what we are taking we are taking as a output of q bar is taking to the input of here now then what we are observing we are observing that this is the j and like that you can keep 